I'm going to make these pulled blossoms, all cut by hand, uh, and they're a very useful little flower. You can do any shape you like. Quite a long back, so you can just push your tool into the cake and just insert them into the cake. So I'll make you a large one and a small one, so we can just see how easy it is. So for the big one, I've got quite a big ball of paste there in my hand. I'm using a dowel tool. Anything of a similar shape is fine. Just flatten the edge, insert the tool, and just roll it on your finger. You're just going to thin out a cone. Just keep rolling till the edges are quite small. Still quite thick, but I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to cut. I'm doing a five petal. You can do four, six, whatever you wish. So cut as evenly as you can. Two, three, four, five. And I want to take those points off just to round the edges. So I'm just literally snipping the points. And just with your finger, just take those sharp edges off. Doesn't matter if they're not all uh, perfect size, the same. This really is a quick flower to make and really effective. And now I'm taking my balling bone tool, taking it to the foam pad, and I'm just stretching. I want to leave that centre fairly thick to support it, but just stretching all the edges very gently. A little bit of corn flour on your uh, tool if it's a bit sticky. Do each one, just work around. Now we need to frill those edges, and I've got the cocktail stick again for this must be on the edge of the pad. If you're in here, you're just going to dig in. You, you must be on the end to get this at the angle. And just roll from backwards and forwards to get a nice fine edge. So although the centre of the flower is quite thick, you've got a nice fine edge, which gives the impression of a nice fine flower. I now have a piece of foam, and I want to cup those so I'm gently, I'm not really dragging it, I'm just gently pressing on it like that to draw it in. Now that back is a little bit chunky, so I'm going to cut a little bit out off the bottom and I'm just going to roll it to make it thin. And now we want to add some stamens. Again, very easy, I've just taken white stamens and I'm going to paint mine, but you can take colour, choose whichever suits you. I'll put six in this one, it's quite a big flower. Let's get that even on the end. And now I'm taking my stamens and just dipping them in the glue, just the ends of them, and I'm literally picking up the flower and pushing them in the centre. It's that easy. And then if you need to arrange them a little bit, just have your tweezers and just open them up. And there's my flower complete. But you need to support these big ones, otherwise the, the uh, petals are going to flop back. So all I've done is rolled up a piece of kitchen towel, kitchen roll, and then I'm just going to pop it in the centre. And it'll sit there until it's dry. I'll also do a tiny one to show you. It's just as easy, but obviously you've got a tiny piece of paste to start with. Roll it the same, flatten the edge. Open it up with the dowel tool. And cut your five petals. You need to cut the points off, just as we did for the big blossom each one exactly the same. Again, if the petals aren't even, it doesn't matter. It's not going to show. Sometimes difficult just to cut perfect size petals when you're doing it freehand. Take one stamen for the tiny flower and just insert it. You don't need glue on that. It's not going to go anywhere. There's no weight in it. And these will dry on the board. You needn't uh, support them because there's, they're so light, they're not going to lose their shape. I'm going to show you how to dust and colour the stamens of the blossom. 
I've taken, as always with using dust, my piece of paper and folded it in half so that we don't get colour everywhere. I'm doing this one move. Not going to need much. Just mash it down so all the lumps are gone. And then just dust, slightly dust around the centre. Tap it out. And for the stamens you need to take a little bit of powder and just add a little bit of water. Or whatever you use to let the applied powder down. But water's fine. And I'm just painting the stamens. You can do them a different colour if you wish, a darker colour, silver or gold. And that's the blossom coloured. 